what's up motherfuckers we are back looking at quant right now so i have some potential hopium for you guys right here we are currently looking at quant on the hourly time frame so what i was anticipating was that we do actually end up going a bit lower we currently found a low at about 154 dollars and we are starting to kind of pick back up from here we haven't done anything substantial just yet but um i mean looking at this this could be one of really two things right here so that being this is the overall structure that i was looking for right here um you can see it kind of is playing out and then going from here what is potentially on the table is that the structure that I drew out right here, this is your A leg. So one of two things is at play here is what I'm saying. And the one of two things is, this is either from the peak that we hit back in where October 17th at $223. You're either looking at this and saying, okay, this is your A leg, this is your B leg, and this was your C leg is scenario one where if this is your c leg that then means you actually are um finished with your correction and you are going to start moving back up from here alternatively your second scenario is that in reality you could count five waves one two three four five uh actually that doesn't really make too much sense but um th what i'm saying is the alternative scenario is that if this is uh, if this is your corrective wave and it has not completed yet, that means we would be going into our wave B right now, looking something like this, and then we'd still have our C leg to go. So you have those one or two scenarios at play right now. Um, so what I want to do here is actually move that over. And we'll go into the daily time frame really quickly. And we'll also check out the weekly like Bollinger Band, see what that's looking like. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this potentially could be uh, what you would call a bull flag. I'm not a pattern person, just to say that. And I also did want to mention here as well, we did actually go ahead and back test. So far, this 786, which is at $156. Um, and what I was talking about with this potentially just being your A leg, this would be one, two, three, four, and then five. Uh, your closures is mainly what we're looking at here. You could say uh, the wicks invalidated, blah, 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 blah. All right. Anyway, um, so that's essentially your one, two scenarios right here. If that is the case and this is actually your wave B that's about to take place right here, your retracement for your wave B, um, maybe up to the ones or not, not one six one eight. Maybe you get a retrace back up to the six one eight over here at one hundred ninety four dollars. If anything, uh, what I would more so be looking for would be the three eight two right here at one seventy eight or the five a level at one eighty six. So I'll draw in two more smaller boxes for this. That's one area. And that's the other. Uh, we could potentially go higher than there, but uh, I mean, we still really have to assess it as it goes. But other than that, that's all we really have to talk about. If we get a like two daily closures above the 618, then we'll strongly reconsider saying that um, we would go lower from here, but Last thing that I want to check quickly is the Bollinger Bands on the weekly time frame. So let's see where that is at. So our median line for the Bollinger Band is currently in our box, which is at about $117. Um, as of right now, we are down for the week. So that's still definitely on the table that we do go back down to the box that we have over there nothing too crazy but i figured we just check that back out again the top of the bollinger band on the weekly two is right at the three eight or not three eight two the uh five level that we were just talking about where we have that one smaller box right there 
Uh, as for the daily time frame where we're at, we're at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. We didn't actually touch it yet, but it does look like it is trying to expand out from here. So other than that, that's all I really have to say about Quant for the time being. Uh, RSI is slightly pivoting up from here. Stochastic RSI is all the way at the bottom right now. It doesn't look like it's trying to pivot up here just yet. So other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.